Joseph Van for fighthype.com with me. I have Sky's very own former Cruiserweight oh, world man. champion, Johnny Nelson. I'm not Cruiserweight anymore because I put a little weight on. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot Johnny, it's hot. It's very hot here. How are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. It's nice, uh, you know, it's still summer, it's part of summer break, well, that's a good pop down, still in summer mode, and, uh, and getting involved in the fight, so it's a good little build up for the fight. It's a big, it's a big, it's a big time for the Campbell this week. And I think the last time it's so big for me is uh, obviously here in London uh, in 2012, the Olympics. And I, I spoke to him yesterday. Very cool, very matter of fact. He understands the task in hand. And he's going in there not to put up a good show, he's putting in there to win. I like that attitude, I like, I like, I like the intent. Lomachenko regarded as number one pound for pound fighter. Everybody's not had, beatable, not, not beatable. Not had as many professional fights, but has had a huge amateur kind of and That's what we'll all uh, 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 refer to. I remember his second professional fight, he went to box Orlando Alan, Salido uh, for the WBO title. We were trying to do it his first professional fight. Uh, he lost, but that's because he, he lacked an experience. He didn't get beat up, he just he was all manned out of it. Went on to win the WL title straight after that again. So what he's done is he's had the opportunity, the confidence, the maturity from the off. So, so he and Luke are the same age. He and Luke, on paper, have collected the same medals. Um, but he is an outstanding uh, um, comfort. He's an outstanding individual in regards to what he's done. Now, when people, it's like it's a Lomachenko, Lomachenko show. We're in, the, in England. And people are thinking, so it's like we've just come to see Lomachenko. I want to hear the fans get behind Luke. I want to hear him say, yeah, you know, and it's hard because we know Lomachenko's outstanding. But Luke, he needs a career best performance. Uh, and we need Lomachenko to make a mistake on the rest of the What are those mistakes? What are those weaknesses that Luke can... I don't see any weaknesses, that's the truth. Um, uh, I see when he's in training and the things he's doing uh, behind for eye coordination. That's what we did in the gym. And it's so, so silly, little things that you do. When people walk in, they think, what are you doing? But what he's doing is he's making his movement, his slipping, his, his footwork, like walking and talking. So it's like playing tick. You get a little kid in the ring. And I say to a lot of youngsters, when you, to, to improve your footwork, just get in the ring, get a youngster to try and hit you and just get out of the way. And you don't understand how quick it fixes your footwork, your balance, your moving, that, that, that matrix. And that's what you do, and that's what Lomachenko does. He's just transferred it into the boxing ring. Uh, even the juggling, again, hand, foot, eye, coordination. Once you've got all of those, everything else is a breeze. And um, it's like if I said to you, walk, think about how you're walking. You can't do what you like, but then but if you went and walk naturally, so everything he's doing is very natural. When he's boxed, I've never seen him actually take, have to step up a gear or two. Even when he, he's only lost, he never. He just had to try and figure out the puzzle that was in front of him. He's an outstanding fighter. He has a good attitude uh, and a good mindset of what he's trying to do. Um, and Luke just needs to, you know, he, he's a lot more mature as a professional. He's a lot more adapted as a professional. Luke has height, he has reach. Uh, Does he keep it long? To, pardon? Does he keep it long? Yeah, he's got to keep it long. He's got to box his fight, not Lomachenko's fight. Uh, 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 be variable. He's, he's got to. It's got to be unpredictable because Lomachenko takes a couple of rounds to figure out what's in front of him and then steps on the gas. Lomachenko, one of the best you've seen? Who would you compare I've him to? I've seen better. I've seen better. I've seen Jeff Powell and I said, where do you rate Lomachenko and his skills? He goes number one without doubt and number two, yeah, Shigori Robinson. You know what? But I'm talking about people I've seen personally. Uh, I've seen, you know, and again, I, I'll get shouted down for this. And these guys didn't achieve, one of the guys didn't achieve as much as Lomachenko, Harold Bomber Graham, complete genius. I've seen it with my own eyes. Because he was an orthodox, he wasn't, he was, they didn't give him the credit where credit was deserved. Fidel Castro Smith, Slug World Tour, and another outstanding fighter. The Prince Nassim Hamid, you know, and Naz got to where he got and could have been better. Um, and, and they were, it was all unorthodox, offensive. 
uh, 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 defensive kind of boxer. Uh, Lomachenko has got a, a nice offensive style, which is successful, which is commanding, which which gives you crash man waller. So I understand people saying what they're saying, saying but you, you also got to understand when you look at boxing, you know, there's all everybody's got a little bit something special about Lomachenko right now. He's a man that's got it all together, as long as as well as Alexander Usyk. Who wins on Saturday night? I think Lomachenko wins. I I, uh, I think Luke Campbell puts up an amazing performance. Uh, I'd be surprised if it goes past eight rounds. Uh, but I'd expect Lomachenko.